happy Saturday. So this morning, um, we had to be out of the house around, sorry, I'm trying to just leave it burning, just leave it. <laughs> we had to be out of the house because um, the new buyers wanted to bring their families over to see the house. So that was exciting. We're kind of excited for them. Uh, kind of. <laughs> um, and so we went and had lunch with Harper and the three doggies. And luckily it was a really beautiful day. So yesterday Joe pulled his back muscle. And so he was in pain all night and he's really just taking it easy. Getting out of the house for the showing was, um, kind of hard for him um and so we were going to go over to april and joe's house which is sarah's parents so it's just gonna be me and harper going tonight since joe needs to rest up his back like when you pull a muscle you really just need to like lay perfectly still until it heals itself i wanted to do a whole separate video on this but with everything going on i never got around to it and valentine's day is just around the corner but i got my little nieces some valentine's day gift bags and i kind of went all out on them and so i wanted to show you guys what i got them i'm gonna bring eva's hers tonight and so i wanted to hurry up and film it um, and so I guess I'll just jump in. So the first thing, so I got most of what is in here at my grocery store, literally, including these stuffed animals. <laughs> um, these were on sale for $5.99 and they're like big stuffed animals. So I got three of these and I thought that it would be just cute to put with the bag kind of like almost like they're holding the bag. Originally I was gonna try to invite them over for a Valentine's Day party and I was gonna decorate. I was wanting to decorate like Valentine's Day donuts with them. It's like, oh, and then I saw this Valentine's Day slime to make on Pinterest. So I wanted to have a Valentine's Day party with them. And then it was just one of those things that just escaped me. And so I wanted to have these like set up on the counter with like, like that. <laughs> Thumbnail. And so now I'm just gonna be giving it to them aside from the party. So I got a little giraffe, which is my favorite. And then I got these were like the only three left. So luckily they were, I mean, they had multiples of these, but these were the only three different kinds left. Um, so I got this, I think it's a unicorn, right? Yeah, it's a little unicorn, a zebra. Oh yeah, a zebra, because you have the stripes. <laughs> such a nerd um and so this is a cute little zebra so it's gonna be hard trying to decide what animals go to what girls so i got three of those and then i got them gifts inside of these brown paper bags with little valentine's day stuff i even got the bags at my grocery store so as far as treats go i kind of went the basic valentine's day route with treats um so i got them these m m heart things and then I thought that this was really cute. It's a Trolls um, box of chocolates. Actually, there's no chocolate in here. It's the gummy worms in here, no chocolate. And then I got them a little something special at Lush, but I'll jump into that in a minute. So then I got them these little chocolate marshmallow hearts. So they had some chocolate. I saw a pack of cute little erasers and so I got a couple packs of erasers and put those in there and then I saw a pack of bouncy balls and so I put those in there and then I just put it all inside of this bag. So I thought it'd be fun to include some hair accessories. I think that they're at that age. I know when I was their age, I was, I was having like fun with putting bows and stuff like that in my hair. So um, this one is for Eva and it's just a little clip on um, coral bow. So I guess I'll show you what I got her. I got different bows and stuff for the other girls. So I'll just kind of show you what's in her bag and then I'll go into the other bags. And then these fans I bought for my nieces um, during the summer at World Market. When I was their age, I loved like fans like this. I don't know why, but I just felt so posh and grown up with my own little fan. Um, and so they've just been sitting in my closet. So I thought that it was probably a good time to just throw that in here as well. And then I went to Lush. <laughs> I really kind of went all out, but I have been wanting to buy them Lush bath bombs for a really long time because I love Lush bath bombs. Like when you put it in the water, if you haven't ever used one, it explodes with like all sorts of different colors and sparkles and some of them have like big confetti chunks in them. So they have such fun bath bombs at Lush and I always think that they're so fun and so entertaining. So 
if I think that they're entertaining, I think that like 10 year old girls would just absolutely flip. <laughs> and so it's one of those things that I have been wanting to buy for them, but every like Christmas or birthday, I always forget. And so finally I remembered. And so I went to Lush and got them some Valentine's Day bath bombs. So this one, I don't remember the names. Do they give you the names? It looks like this. Um, this one was only $5.95, so it's one of the cheaper bath bombs, but it has, she said it has confetti hearts inside, and then it also explodes different colors. Um, and so I thought this was a really perfect one for Valentine's Day. This one isn't necessarily a Valentine's Day one, but it's called Twilight and it has blue and gold inside if it'll focus on it. There you go. It has um, blue and gold and so when you put it in the water, first pink comes out and then blue and then gold and it has little baby sparkles in there. Um, so this one is a really fun one. <sighs> it smells amazing. So those two are for Eva and that concludes her um, little gift bag. I didn't want to just give them a whole bunch of treats and so that's why with the bath bombs and the hair ties, um, I thought it was kind of a different route to go and then with the um, little fan, I thought that it was just a fun, it's kind of like a bag of just like girliness. Okay, so this bag is, let's see, Kismets. Um, and so as far as treats go, I got her all of the same um, treats and then I got her the same bouncy balls and erasers. So those are all the things that are the same in all of the bags. And then I got her these little um, hair barrettes. Is that what you call those? They're kind of little fabric flowers with jewels in the center. I don't know if it's focusing on that. Um, so I got her that as far as the hair accessory goes. And then I think this is the fan that I'll give her. Um, it's hard to know like which fans they would like. It's a blue and purple fan. It's either between this one or this one. Maybe I'll give her this one and give Jocelyn. The, the Jocelyn's the youngest. So I feel like Jocelyn would like the floral. Whereas when you start to get a little older, you appreciate things that aren't necessarily floral. So I'll stick with this for Christmas. As far as her Lush treat, this one is really fun. I haven't seen this one in water, but it is four different colors white and gold and then there's purple in there this is like oh it's on my hand um and then navy and then a dark or a hot pink and it has sparkles she said that this one was really fun when you put it in the water and then this one is that same pink ball with the flowers that i got for eva i got two of those since they were the cheapest options cheapest options so that is kismet's bag i don't know which I think Kismet would like the giraffe. Maybe I'll pair this with Kismet. And then I think Eva would like the unicorn. Okay, so on to Jocelyn. Um, so I'm gonna give her the little giraffe and then she has the floral fan. And then all of the treats are the same. I got her these little hair thingies, barrettes for her little hair accessory. And then for her, I'm, I was regretting this decision, um, but I got her this little unicorn. Maybe I should put her with a unicorn since it's a unicorn. Would Eva like a zebra? Um, this is a unicorn bubble bath from Lush. And what you can do is you can just break a little piece off and then you run it underneath the water and it gives you bubbles. Um, and so I got this one for Jocelyn and I didn't get her a bath bomb and I just got her one. My battery's dying, so I have to hurry. So that's the only thing from Lush that I got her. Um, hopefully she enjoys it. I wish I had gotten her, because I got the other two girls two things. I just, I don't know where my brain was. They were like closing and I was trying to hurry up and I was like, oh, I'll just get her a bubble bath. And so that is what I got them for Valentine's Day. This little stinker is growing too fast. <laughs> I put on this Valentine's Day outfit that I got for her um, when she wasn't even here yet and it's too short. <laughs> it fits, it's just the legs don't, I mean they can if you pull on it but then once she starts playing. But anywho, it's a cute little red jumper. Hey Harper! I got it on Nordstrom Rock and then it has 
little hearts on it. So I thought it'd be a cute Valentine's Day outfit. At least she's getting to wear it before she fully outgrows it. Ha, huh, Harper? Ha, huh, yeah. So we're leaving in just a few minutes. I am trying to get at least a little bit of my talk written. Tomorrow I am giving a talk in sacrament meeting, which is like the congregation at church. <laughs> Definitely a lot of people though, and I have to get up in front of everyone and give a talk. Um, so my talk is on repentance and it's supposed to be 10 to 12 minutes long um, and so I haven't even I have like four lines written right now so I'm trying to get most of that written I have 20 minutes that's not gonna happen that way I don't have to worry stress out too much when we get home from dinner although It'll probably be a late night of me writing my talk. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm gonna try to punch out at least half of my talk. Harper's playing on the floor. Joe is laying down. Um, and yeah, we're just about to head over to go to their house for dinner. I went to Nothing Bunt Cakes and got a pound cake, or not a pound cake, a bunt cake, duh. <laughs> to bring for dessert. Um, and then I have the gifts all ready to go there, although I'm just bringing Eva's gift, and then tomorrow night I'm dropping off the other two gifts. So, anywho, hope that you guys had an awesome Saturday, and let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.